Hello, this is Panda, and I'm presenting to you the Panda Heat, which is the latest edition of the Panda's scalping arsenal. And that's exactly what it is, because this system is on absolute fire. That's why I call it the Heat. It's because of the success in this simple method. It can produce high-quality trades more frequently than the highly successful and profitable Panda Bamboo Trader, which the bamboo has been doing very well all summer, and it's still doing well. It just doesn't trade so much, you know. So for uh, more conservative traders, that's fine. You just stick with stick with the Panda Bamboo, and you can trade, uh, you know, you can trade higher contracts, and you you can feel safe doing that. For those of you who like to trade more, who like to trade with with more uh, frequency and with uh, and with less duration, this Panda Heat method can do that for you. It produces, on average, about five trades a day, and uh, with an 80% success rate. So that that's what we're looking at. You know, this this can definitely give us about 20 ticks per day, and this is this is a hot system, and this is all that you see here is the entire system. You have these panda trend bars, which are just color coded uh, short term directional bars, okay. And we have just two moving averages here, okay. And we have a slope indicator, which is needed for entry which is going to be plus or minus one. In this case, it's going to be green for positive or red for negative. Uh, Panda MACD, which is just, it's just a MACD with, with a great setting on it for scalping. And lastly, but perhaps most importantly, is the volume pressure indicator. And this is Panda volume pressure that is not dependent on real-time data but it just shows you the the short-term force or the or the push of the market in terms of volume so this is uh, pretty important to have when you're scalping because you want to be going in the direction of the immediate volume so so that's the system in a nutshell and what you see here so we enter when there's a cross of the MACD and we have a trend bar in the direction of the moving averages with with the volume okay and we take it off the signal here so that's so that's pretty much it so you see here after this is the opening bell here we would be looking we'd be looking for long trades okay as this as this pushes up as this pushes up here to one okay this is still 930 so there's a whole minute of trading right here within these tick bars so we we would be looking for a a move in the up and the upward direction but we need a volume confirmation and we don't like it how it's just hanging out here for for a little but we need we need some kind of a push up we get that right here and we're able to take one point easily out of the market here after the opening bell. Okay, and so as price remains above the dotted gold line, we stay long. Okay, and here it's going below. There's a good distance beneath. Everything looks like it's pushing heavily down. So we want to get short at this time. We grab and we bank another point out of the market here in so the first half hour. So that's already two points. Okay. And we're just waiting for the next cross of the MACD. And that's it. We wait for the crosses of the MACD with the alignments of these indicators. Okay. So here's, here's a good example. Everything's pushing up. Everything's pushing up. It's a good, it's a good space here. So we, why don't we just 
why don't we just grab another point out of the market right there okay so all this in the first hour there's already already three trades okay and right here is a perfect example of another of another short trade right here everything's pushing down negative one everything's pushing so let's grab our fourth trade as as the first hour as the first hour approaches here on this day so that's 16 ticks here pretty quickly so this is this is why I call it the panda heat is because the panda heat uh, trades often whereas maybe here the bamboo trader may be traded one or two times so so I personally trade both of these systems at the same time I can have these two charts up and be able to trade it easily because the panda bamboo um, you know takes a little bit m more time to set up the trades and you kind of can see them happening in advance or when or when they're not going to happen you know that there's a good time in, in there so for me I like to trade a lot and the panda heat allows me to trade a lot but with a security of high probability setups and this is great so stay tuned here for for the next videos that I'm going to show you in in real uh, live market data using the market replay which is just a uh, a complete day and I can adjust the the speed so you can just get an idea of how the panda heat would trade in in live trading so you can play these videos here next and I just wanted to give this introduction to the panda heat which this is it what you see here there's no other indicators to look at there's no other charts to filter the trades you don't have to you know have have other time frames to be comparing to this chart but we just keep it simple we just keep it easy and we keep on banking the ticks and that's how we do it that's how we want to stay we want to stay focused we want to stay in one one market the e-mini is a perfect and beautiful market and this is panda so watch the videos